President Bongbong Marcos is reviving the task force El Nino in anticipation of the weather phenomenon that is expected to cause drought and dry spells in different parts of the country. Secretary Gibot Yodoro chairs the task force as the head of the Department of National Defense. He confirms the revival of the task force El Nino after a cabinet meeting presided over by Marcos on Tuesday. According to him, Executive Order No. 16, which created the task force in 2001, was amended in accordance with the National Action Plan submitted by the National Economic and Development Authority. Task Force Co-Chair Secretary Renato Solidum Jr. also announces that the latest assessments from the Department of Science and Technology and PAGASA showed that the peak of drought and dry spells due to El Nino would be in April 2024 and not May as initially reported. So yun po yung pagbabago, the, uh, the drought will peak again, uh, May 2024, uh, no, April 2024 with 63 provinces possibly experiencing drought condition and 12 provinces um, experiencing the dry spell condition. Pag-asa characterizes El Nino as the unusual rise in average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern equatorial Pacific, resulting in warmer waters. As an effect, below normal rainfall is expected, which can cause dry spells and droughts in several areas. Solidum notes that only the Karaga region and some parts of the Davao region might not experience any of these effects. Now, in terms of uh, the drought, uh, which would peak during... Uh, April, um, the provinces that are not affected by either the uh, drought or uh, dry spell would be the Caraga area and some parts of the Vau region on the eastern side of Mindanao. All the rest are uh, mostly drought or dry spell.